When Wuxi meets Apache, who is the real air harvester? Some people say that it is better to compare. Apache is the world's recognized king of helicopters, with outstanding combat achievements. With a hexagram of hellfire, tanks have to shake three times. But you may not know that the birth of Wuxi really has something to do with Apache. In the early morning of January 15, 1991, the Gulf War officially started. Nine Apaches were full of firepower, with sea basilisk and hellfire, under the guidance of four MH513, low altitude penetration and precise destruction. The Iraqi radar war directly opened the way for hundreds of fighter jets. At that moment, the whole world knew that gunships could be so fierce. And it was from this war that China really realized the value of gunships. So a brand new domestic, dedicated statue of Muzi Bay. The Muzi Times Thunderbolt first flew in 2003 and entered service in 2012, although his physique was a circle smaller than Apache's. He had the back cutting oil and used a new generation avionics system with digital fire control, information perception, and precision strike capabilities. To put it bluntly, Apache was a veteran with outstanding combat achievements, a cutting edge in the time of martial arts, and technology was online. You might say that the Apache is strong in resistance to attack after being armored, but it cannot withstand the front-facing steel in the time of martial arts. That's right, the Apache's maximum takeoff weight is over 10 tons, and it can resist attacks, so it belongs to the heavy-armed helicopter. But the Apache also has a shortcoming, that is, the weak air-to-air -air ability. And in the time of war, it is different. It can mount multiple types of air-to-air -air missiles, which can not only hit ground targets steadily, but also fight back in the air. Once it faces the local helicopter head-on, it may really be able to come to a wave of magic anti-magic and use the helicopter to kill the helicopter. 